Well, I just, I, I just want to personally invite all of you to this revival and peaceful protest. See, we understand that in re revival, in this peaceful protest, we are free to move around without masks. We are free in a peaceful protest to say whatever we want to say. And part of the protest is the assault of our leaders in this state. That they think it's okay for our tax paid, tax payer buildings to be destroyed and painted and, and uh, assaulted and brought down and all the other things and the windows broken out. And these other buildings, it's not okay. It's not okay to silence the police and stop the police. We're just wanting, we're just wanting our police to do what they have to do and we give them the authority to do what they have to do. And it's not okay if our police are abused. We right now establish, we protest our police from being assaulted. We, pro we, we, we right now, we protest the church being assaulted. We protest church not able to do what they're supposed to do and what we're supposed to do but it's okay to have all the liquor stores open it's okay to have all the pot houses open it's okay but not the church the very thing that each and every person needs as Renato was talking about the hopelessness it's not okay it's not okay to destroy and destroy any federal buildings or any state buildings these cops protect us. Yeah, they're bad cops. There's bad preachers. Right. There's bad politicians. There's bad news media. But we right now peacefully protest right now. And we say there is a revival and awakening that's taking place up here in this house. It's not okay to shoot someone. It's not okay to blind someone with a light. It's not okay in any way to harm anyone. Black, red, yellow, white, it's not okay. It's not okay. We right now, we stand and we protest the destruction of businesses and homes and lives in every way. We also, I'll tell you what else we protest. We protest right now, we protest the truth for not being spoken about COVID. We protest the lion, the lion media. We protest the lion, 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 those lion politicians that have tried to stop the very thing that would help people get a hold of the healing for their bodies and COVID. We protest even now. up here on the mountain. And from here on out, from here on out, we are going to peacefully protest these assaults against us, against us, no matter what color we are, and we will, we protest again. We protest try and divide the colors of our skin. And try and divide us when there has been great work. There are still, and we know that, there are still racial discrepancies. There are still racial things that happen, and we have got to work on them. There are bad cops, there's bad preachers, there's bad politicians, there's bad in every sector. But part of that, part of that bad is part of what the church is doing even now to establish a new, establish a strength, establish and acknowledge that there is a better way that there is a way, that he is the truth, the light, and the way. That's how changes are made. So, we are so glad that you're joining us by live stream and all these other medias. And I want to just want to say this too. We always have 
live stream. Renata, what's the name of our live stream? Livestream.com. Livestream.com. In case, in case, ah, oh, here's another thing we protest. <laughs> we protest all of these different, all of these different medias. Social media. Social media. That's what I needed. From rejecting the truth, rejecting the Christians, rejecting and censoring. They're censoring. They're censoring us. And we right now, even now, we just say right now in this hour, we peacefully protest the rejection. And you keep missing, you keep messing with people, the people of God. You will pay a great price. We're talking about the God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. You say the church isn't supposed to be political. That is the biggest crock, a lie that I've ever heard. We as a church are supposed to be involved in every area of life. Amen. And if we don't, if we don't, we see what's happening right now. This is a result of what's happening in this throughout this land of what happens if the church does not get involved in every one of these areas. And there we're silent. We're silent. So we peacefully protest. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not hitting you with any of my spit. We peacefully protest right now against your assaults, against the Christian and against the church. But more importantly, against Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. can be. The Lord is going to open up his mouth. And when he does, he's going to shut the mouths of those who have been coming against the church. We have not seen, we have not seen the Holy Spirit move in his power and mass. We have not seen him move in signs and wonders, but he's about to. And if you look at the signs and wonders of the days of old, signs and wonders were not always pretty. They got the attention of the people. God is gonna, this is this is what he's gonna do. He's gonna lift his hand from some. That is not a good thing. He's gonna move and he's gonna show himself mighty. The Holy Spirit is in here on this earth now, doing the work of the Father, the Son. So, thank you for joining this peaceful protest. Yeah! Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you're my next interviewee. I'm gonna interview you on Shofar Blast. Yes, 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 yes. What did I forget? What else did I forget? I, you know, I was just moving. You know what? I was just moving you, and grooving you there. Toasted, what else did I forget? You toasted the devil like I had not seen. Yeah. You did more damage than I could have done in yeah. two hours on Show well, Far Bad well. last. Because you were, yeah. it was Holy Spirit yeah. speaking yeah. through you yeah. directly to yeah, the right. assignments and yeah. strategies that's of the right. enemy to shut the church down. Yeah. This is what we're going to do right now. We're going to pray in tongues. We're going to pray in the spirit. Those of you that are watching by live stream, for some of you that don't know, maybe you're watching or you're just tuning in or somebody else shared this with others. Tongues is a gift that God has given to us. It's a gift. It's a prayer language. It's a, what God's given to us in the book of Acts it speaks of. Regardless of what you've been taught, the book of Acts has not been kicked out of the entire Bible. You know, no one tore it out. Throughout the scripture, you see where people are filled. We're going to pray the perfect will of God. When you pray, you pray the perfect will of God. All right, now pick it up a bunch. Pick it up. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, Hey, 
One last thing. I also, not just personally, but we, my family, D and I and the children and our grandbaby, we protest the continuous lies against the president of our president of the United States. We protest that the lawmakers, the highest level of lawmakers in this land continually lie and they get away with it. We protest that assault against our president. We, we right now, right now, we protest, peacefully protest, and we put this in the hands of Almighty God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit to move even now and straighten out this wicked way of speaking against my president, against the president of the United States of America, who has done more for this United States and affected every color, red, yellow, black, and white. He has done more for each one. I believe than all of the other ones combined. So I, right now, personally, yeah, personally, personally, we yield this authority, we wield this authority in that. Against these attacks, these unjust attacks against the president of the United States, our president, of the United States, and we say, hand of God, begin to move across this land. North, south, east, west, move, even now. Holy Spirit, even now, you go. Make these injustices right, even now, that have been assaulting him, day in, day out, continuously. And Holy Spirit, we ask that you would deal with each one of these liars. And Father God, we stand as a united body and we protest the child sex trafficking yeah. in Jesus' name. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. we call it to stop. Yeah. We call it exposure. Yes, in we Jesus command name. it in the name right. of Jesus. Protest That's abortion! Right. We right protest it right. in the name of Jesus! Kill it. physical, physical, or physically assaulted children, or if you have perversions, you have sexual perversions, and you're a believer, we exhort you very strongly to take care of that and get healed and get delivered. And if you're messing with babies, if you're messing with children, you do not want the hand of God to be lifted. No, my papa, you can't take it. You want to add anything to that, Doc? You want to add anything to that? Hallelujah. Well, I went down to the, court, to the Capitol building yesterday. And I, it was an emotional thing uh, to see the writing on the walls, to see, they said, uh, Tom said, that's the governor's office. The windows broke out of his office. The statue in the front torn down. 
and to see the graffiti all over the sidewalks and everything. And they say it's cleaned up a lot now from what it was. That was an emotional thing to see that. And it's like, it, it's like there's a terrorist that has invaded our country. I mean, something has crossed the line and come into our country and you're like, you know, it's like a war zone. And I, I agree, we have a peaceful protest against what we can see, people and things, but we have a violent protest against the principalities and the powers and the rulers of darkness. We have a violent protest against them. We're here to tear them down. We're here to cut their head off and we're here to send them out of this country in the name of Jesus. Jesus! So be it. Shaka Taka. Anything else you want to add to these people? Jesus! Jesus will have that. Yeah, Jesus! You rule. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you rule. Holy Spirit, we're looking forward to seeing what you're going to do. Yeah. Now, this is before our Pastor Chris. See, this is church. Yeah. When you're led by the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit of the living God, it's not about a program or an agenda. It's about heaven's plan and strategy. And the atmosphere was ripe and pregnant because of the faith of those who are in this room now. There was a, there was, a, and you could sense it, it was palatable. And Holy Spirit said, now to do business as the body of Christ coming together with one voice and one sound from this strategic ground did so much and accomplished so much in the spirit. I'm believing we're going to hear things on the news. I believe with all my heart. I'm encouraging you all. There have already been arrests. There are people that are well known that are under house arrest right now. They're wearing their pretty ankle bracelets. That's a fact. Take it to the bank. Justice is being served. Justice is being served. Justice is being served. The prayers of the righteous avail much. Hallelujah. You can all have a seat if you want. Um, so something that we all as believers have to understand is we cannot turn from it any longer. The reason that we are in the place we are is because Christians have chosen to not pretend that it's not happening. And we all now are seeing the results of allowing us to turn our heads and pretend it's not there. As believers, we have to rise up and not remain silent anymore. We cannot remain silent anymore. Because we have decided to stay on the sidelines, other people have come in and fought it, and it's very few that are making the decisions of millions. And so we have to understand the strategy that when we come out and we decide not to be silent anymore, God is going to give us the supernatural wisdom and revelation on how to speak it forth that's from a place of boldness, but also from a place of love. Because it's that righteous anger that God has been burning in all of us. There's this righteous anger, and I'm like, I cannot stand by and see this happen anymore in our nation. We have got to be praying. There are 94 days before one of the biggest elections of our lifetime, of this nation. And as believers, we have to stand and pray that those of righteousness will be put in places of authority. That right now, in, thir in 94 days, we have to pray that the snakes in the grass come to the surface, that those that are trying to sabotage are found out and revealed, and those that are trying to sabotage the presidency will be revealed. Because God is doing something. God is doing something, and I am excited, but guys, we cannot say we did not know. We cannot say, oh, we're naive and we're ignorant. No, we are not. And it's what we choose to decide. 
It's what we choose to decide. Let your voices be heard. Let your knees have the prayer where you're hitting them and you're saying, God, I am interceding for this nation. I'm interceding for our leaders. I'm interceding for those that are corrupt, those that are in perversion, those that are doing things to children are going to be revealed. And guys, I'm telling you, there is such an urgency. I don't know if you can feel it, but it's pretty palpable today that there is an urgency in this. Uh, you know, you're listening to the news and you're going, okay, God, there's this background. There's information that we know of as well that's very important that we pray that those that are trying to sabotage the president are going to be revealed. Those that are in the deep state are going to be revealed and exposed for they who they are. Those that are in places and positions of righteousness where people are trying to move in the Jezebel spirit and those that are moving under the surface to try to cause sabotage and try to get them fired, that those people are going to be revealed. Because there are people in Washington that have integrity. They have a love for this country, and what enemy the enemy is trying to do is trying to come up and set traps for them. And as believers, we have the authority to come against those spirits that are trying to root out those that God has posi positioned for such a time as this. Because that is what God has done. As he, this is how he does it. There is always a remnant. As dark as Washington, D.C. is, there is always a remnant that he has strategically placed that the enemy, see, this is what I love. The enemy gets overconfident. And he underestimates the believer. He underestimates. And now it's time we show him he messed with the wrong nation. He messed with the wrong nation. No more. No more. That what it has done is woken the sleeping giant. And we are going to rise forth. And we're going to go to battle. And we're going to say, oh, guess what you did? We are going to be bolder than we've ever been bold before. And we're going to let our roar radiate through this entire nation. Do not be silent anymore.